Hello. As all I can say, I haven't made a video in ages, and as you probably guessed by the title, this video is going to be about uh, my new custom-built PC I made it, uh, about a month ago now. Actually, uh, just more than a month ago. Anyway, on with it. Now, let's talk about the specs. It is using an AMD Athlon X4 630 processor, which is quad-core, um, 2.8 gigahertz, because I'm running it at its um, stock frequency, because I've only got the stock cooler on there, so I'm not going to overclock it or anything. Um, the graphics card is an ATI Radeon 5670. I got the, Sa the um, Sapphire Ultimate version, which is 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 video memory, as well as um, it supports Affinity pretty cool I don't have an iFinity setup and I'm not planning on setting up iFinity but it's a cool feature to have just in case I ever want it um, I've got four gigabytes of Corsair RAM I've, I forgot what type of what the actual model number is of it but anyway four gigabytes of 1333 megahertz Corsair RAM um, the motherboard is a gigabyte um, A80 GMUD2H. Um, Sorry, I was just trying to read my motherboard box, which is just kind of down on my floor for some reason. Um, and that has four RAM DIMMs and can support up to I think it's 16 gigs of RAM. I think it can take four four gigabyte sticks, which is pretty cool. It can take up to 1800 megahertz RAM. I've got I've got 1333 megahertz, and I haven't overclocked my RAM frequency either. Um, as far as disk drives go, it's got one one terabyte um, green drive, which is 5400 RPM, but it makes up for that by having an extra big cache, so it still performs roughly the same amount. I mean, Windows Index Experience says that it's about 5.9. Yeah, it, there's no about about it. It's 5.9. Um, oh, and on the note of Windows Experience, let me just open it up here. Um, yeah, the processor is rated at 7.2, um, RAM is rated at 7.3, I'm oh, sorry about me having to turn around as well, um, graphics is rated at 7.0, um, gaming graphics is also 7.0, and then the drive is 5.9, like I said before, so, pretty good specs, it, um, runs Dirt 2 at 1080i resolution, max settings, um, it could probably go up to 1080p max settings because it runs 1080i at about 50 frames per second. So pretty good. Oh, and also I didn't mention what case it was in. It is in a, um, what was it? It was a MicroDirect K something. Um, I'll, I'll put that in the um, little description box because I can't remember for life, I can't remember for the life of me what case it's in at the moment um, and as far as the mouse and keyboard I'm using when it goes I've got this Logitech MK250 mouse and keyboard set so I've got that and this pretty good mouse and keyboard wireless as you probably guessed and yeah and as far as monitor goes I'm currently using a uh, SyncMaster 2032MW um, I plan on getting two new monitors probably going to be some AOC LED monitors I forgot what the model number is because it's long and as far as speakers go I'm using two JBL duets aluminiums obviously I'm using two I'm not gonna have mono am I and by the way that speaker you can see there that square one isn't one of the JBLs the, the JBL is that curvy one you can see if I move my head so yeah I like it it's a good system runs everything I need to Oops, just keep my microphone but yeah overall it's a good system I'm happy with it. it does everything I need to like I said Dirt 2 runs well on it so that's one of the things I built it for playing a couple of games I'm not a hardcore gamer but I do play a couple of I do do I do want to try and get into gaming a bit more and yeah that was it that was just a basic overview of my custom build PC that I have here Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe, please. Don't have that many. I have like six and 
think three of them are <laughs> friends and family, so I only have like three subscribers, so please subscribe, and that's it.